Hello everyone, we have the Kenmore Upright Vacuum. I know I haven't made a video of this in a while. We have an inside mess test today. I decided that since this stuff has no dust in it and it's not going to pollute my air and make the house all nasty, uh, we're going to pour it inside. It's basically just wood chips. It's not sand, so it's not going to hurt the carpet or anything. So I'm going to be making this mess test with the Kenmore. You can see it's in a bucket right there. It doesn't really produce any dust, so we shouldn't have too much residual junk in the air. But we're going to see how well this Kenmore copes with all this mess. So one second while I put the camera in its sitting position right here. So as many of you have asked, the camera is now sitting here. And I'm not going to hold the camera this time. We're just going to start off right here. And then we're going to work our way back until we get to the camera. See how many times I have to refill the bin, or sorry, empty the bin, making sure the brush bar is engaged, which now it is. We're going to set it to its highest height, and then we're going to go back over with the Dyson when we're done. <laughs>
here, but not there. So as you can see, the Kenmore did a pretty good job. Picked up everything it should have. And yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm going to show you the filter now. We started off with a mostly clean filter. There was a few specks of start. You can see, no wood chips here, no wood chips there. So that looks pretty good. So up next, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to go grab the Dyson. And we're going to see how much the Dyson can get. Well, everyone, let's see how much the Dyson Ball Multi Floor 2 can pick up out of the carpet. And you know what? I'm actually, give me just one second. We're going to film it on the end of the selfie stick so we can get some good close-ups. Let's see what that Kenmore missed. Two and a half bin fulls, so that's like basically nothing. The Dyson didn't pick much up at all. So yeah, the Kenmore did a pretty good job. Now, in all honesty, any vacuum will pick up this stuff. It's large pieces of stuff, it's not sand. The Kenmore did a good job of keeping that dirt off of its filter. So overall, yes, for $180, this Kenmore is a really good vacuum. I highly recommend it. You can see it did an amazing job on this mess and dirt. And yeah, it made this floor look very clean. Uh, there's like nothing left of this mess test whatsoever. Like there's nothing here, which is awesome and quite impressive. But I hope you enjoyed this video of the Kenmore Progressive Pet Friendly Upright and the Dyson Ball Multi Floor 2. Both really good vacuums. Of course the Dyson is better, but it's two and a half times as expensive. But this Kenmore is a good option for the average person. Uh, the brush bar is quite powerful. I did see a bit of agitation going on. Uh, you asked for wider view, so it would be hard to see from way up there. But you can see how the Dyson uh, got the edges a bit better. Um, this side right here cleans way better than that side. Better, worse. Uh, so the left hand side, sorry, the right hand side is a much better cleaning spot than the left. But I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for more.